J. Wayne Jenkins, born September 28, 1977, known professionally as Jeezy, formerly Young Jeezy, is an American rapper, singer, songwriter, and actor. Signed to Def Jam Recording since 2004, his major label debut Let's Get It, Thug Motivation 101 was released the following year and debuted at number 2 on the Billboard 200, selling 172,000 copies in its first week and was later certified platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America, RIAA. Jeezy is credited, along with fellow Atlanta-based rappers T.I. and Gucci Mane, for helping to pioneer and popularize trap music with a mainstream audience. 2345. Jeezy began his music career in 2001 as Lil J with the release of Thuggin' Under the Influence, TUI. In total, Jeezy has released 10 studio albums, as well as numerous successful singles, including the top 10 hit Soul Survivor, featuring Akon, as well as the top 40 hits I Love It, Go Get a featuring R. Kelly, and Put On featuring Kanye West. Along with his own singles, Jeezy has also been featured on numerous hip-hop and R&B hit singles, including Say I by Christina Milian, I'm So Paid by Akon, Hard by Rihanna and Love in This Club by Usher, the latter of which reached number one on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100, in 2008. Outside of his solo career, Jeezy is also the de facto leader of the southern hip-hop group United Streets Dope Boys of America, USDA, and a former member of the Bad Boy Records rap group Boys and Da Hood. J. Wayne Jenkins was born on September 28, 1977 in Columbia, South Carolina. When he was a toddler, Jenkins relocated to Atlanta, Georgia where he lived with different family members, as a result of his parents separating. 167, in an interview with Double XL magazine, he described his childhood as empty. At a point in time he lived in Hawkinsville, Georgia at 600 N. Lumpkin. 8, he had lived in Macon, Georgia at an older age where he befriended many Crip gang members and even affiliated himself with the Crips and started his affiliation with Kinky B who helped his career along with many others. In 1994, Jeezy spent nine months in Yuka, Youth Challenge Academy, a boot camp in Fort Stewart, Georgia, for narcotics possession. 9. Four years later, in 1998, Jeezy launched the label imprint CTE World, then known as Corporate Thugs Entertainment. In 2001, under the name Lil J, Young Jeezy released his first independent album, Thuggin' Under the Influence, TUI. 10. The album included features from artists Freddie J, Kinky B, Fidank, and Lil Jon, who also produced some of the songs. In 2003, Jeezy independently released Come Shop With Me, a two-CD set featuring new tracks along with some songs previously released on TUI in 2004. Jeezy signed with Bad Boy Records and joined the group Boys and a Hood, whose self-titled album was released in June 2005 and peaked at number 5 on the Billboard 200 album chart. In May 2004, Jazzy Fah's manager, Henry Nooney Lee, showed Jeezy's demo to his friend Shakir Stewart, then Vice President Artist and Repertoire, VPA and R, at Def Jam. 11. Stewart fell in love with it. The demo, the first time, he, heard it and took it to L.A. Reed. 11. Reed recognized Jeezy's talent and gave Stewart the green light to sign him. 11. However, due to Jeezy's rising popularity, other record labels began pursuing him simultaneously to sign with them, most notably, Warner and Interscope. Ultimately, Jeezy decided he wanted to be in business with Stewart and Reed and signed with Def Jam Records as a result. 11. Jeezy released his major label debut, Let's Get It, Thug Motivation 101, on July 26, 2005. The album debuted at number 2 on the Billboard 200, selling 172,000 copies in its first week and was later certified platinum by the RIAA. 12. The debut single off his debut album, and then what featured Manny Fresh and reached number 67 on the Billboard Hot 100. The second single off the album, Soul Survivor featuring Akon, reached number 4 on the Billboard Hot 100 and would become Jeezy's highest charting single of his career. The third single, My Hood, reached number 77 on the Billboard Hot 100. In an interview with Hit Quarters, A&R Shakir Stewart said that Jeezy had recorded over 60 songs for the album. 11. In interviews and on several records, Jeezy has affirmed his resistance to commercialism in his music. 13. According to Jeezy, 
maintaining his street credibility, is of the utmost concern to him as an artist. 9. In 2005, Jeezy was featured in several popular hip-hop songs including Gucci Mane's Icy, 14, and Boys and Da Hood's Dem Boys. Although, he would later leave the group after having successfully established himself as a solo artist. In 2006, Jeezy was featured in Christina Milian's single Say I. Later that year, on December 12, he released his second major label album, The Inspiration. It topped the Billboard 200 with first week sales of 352,000 copies and would go on to be certified platinum by the RIAA. The album's first single I Love It peaked at number 14 on the Billboard Hot 100 and the second single, Bill Getta featuring R. Kelly, peaked at number 18. Jeezy also extended himself into gaming, portraying himself in the 3D hip-hop fighting game Def Jam, Icon, released in March 2007. Also in 2007, Jeezy's group USDA, alongside Blood Raw and Slick Pulla, released their debut album, Cold Summer. The album debuted at number 4 on the Billboard 200, selling 95,000 copies in its first week. On December 17, 2007 Jeezy and CTE started their week-long toy drive and charity event series called the Toys and Da Hood Drive. The series presented 1,000 toys for 1,000 kids at various locations in Macon and Atlanta. The CTE Christmas kickoff portion of the event ran from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. at Club Miami. The toy giveaway took place in the Unionville neighborhood of Macon and at the Old Fourth Ward community in Atlanta. 15.